So I just finished installing my new Nest thermostat and everything went well, except it did give me a notice that it recommended to add a C wire. Now, some of the reasons it said to do that was for reduced battery life, motion sensing would be disabled if I didn't have that, occasional disconnecting from Wi-Fi, and unexpected activation of heating or cooling. So not too serious of issues, and many people have said you actually don't need the C-wire, but for me, I wanted to have that motion sensing, and I wanted to make sure that everything else was functioning properly. So in today's video, I'm going to go through the process of how to install a C-wire. Now, I am no HVAC expert or anything. I just did some Googling and found a great website that taught me how to do this, and it was a pretty simple process. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the C-wire, for your Nest thermostat. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now the first step is to determine if you do need the CE wire. So a few ways you can do this. One is you could just install the Nest thermostat and then see if it recommends that you need one. Or the other way is to just look at your wiring and see if there are options available to add the C-Wire. So here in my old wiring, you can see that I have the Y1, G, W1, RH, and the C-Space is missing that C-Wire. So here I definitely could use the C-Wire. Now that we have determined we need to add the C-Wire, next you need thermostat wire. So this is 18 over five. When inspecting my current thermostat wire, there are only four. So this will help me have all five wires that are needed. Next, we're going to turn off the power to our thermostat. Here you can see it is not working. And then we're going to remove our old thermostat. Here you can see on my Nest thermostat, I still just have those four wires. And now let's remove all of this so that we can pull out the wires and see what we're dealing with. Now, before we remove anything, make sure you take a picture so you can see your labels and colored wires together. And this is just good to reference back if you ever need to. Now that the base plate is removed, we can see that we have four wires, just like we knew before. But now pulling this out, we discover that there is more to the puzzle. So here we have a bunch of different wires spliced together and then the colors change. So that's important info to know for later. So I'd pull your wires out a little bit, see if you have anything like this. And the big part is make sure that you don't drop your wire down through the hole or you will be having to fish it out later. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to splice the wire here and tape on our new thermostat wire so that we can then feed it through to the thermostat. Sorry this is a bit off frame, but all I'm doing right now is I'm cutting off that extra wiring that was there, and then I'm going to take the new wiring and use some electrical tape and tape them nicely together and make sure it's kind of a smooth uh, taping together and they hold well so that you can easily slide this through the wall. And so here is my finished tape product. You can see it's not very bulky and now I can just set this here. And now we're gonna go find the white cable on the other end or the existing thermostat wire. So going down into my furnace, here you can see the one wire. And again, it had been spliced on the other end, but now I know exactly where this wire goes. So all I'm going to do is start pulling it lightly and hopefully it will come through. Now on the other end, I did have my wife help me to kind of feed the wire through. It did just get caught a tiny bit where I put the electrical tape, but after a little force, it came right through. And so now I have a wire from my thermostat right to my furnace. With the furnace off, we're going to pull off the covers here. Now pay attention to the previous routing of the thermostat wire so that you can know exactly where you need to feed yours. So here I'm just going to pull off the electrical tape and then I'm going to feed it right where the other wiring was. Once I have the new wire in place, I'm then going to strip it and here you will notice the color coding of each of the cables. Now these could go anywhere, but uh, the recommended different colors are red is for 24 VAC, or RH could be 24 VAC for heating, and RC could be dedicated to cooling. Green would go to G for the fan, white or W would go to heating, and then yellow Y for cooling, and then blue or black could be the common wire. So today we're going to follow that standard wiring just so that we can keep track of what is happening. And now I'm going to strip off the ends of each of these five wires so that I can then attach them to the furnace. 
And here you can see on my furnace, everything currently is color coded and it is marked as well. Again, take a picture before you do this to make sure that you line up everything correctly. So first I'm going to start with the white on the W, then add the yellow on the Y, add the red on the R, and then add the blue on the C and the green on the G. All right, so the new wiring is finished. I have the white on the W, I have yellow on Y, I have the red on R, blue is on the common for C, and then green is on the G. And then here I have my AC unit where the blue wire that was already there is on Y, and the green wire that was already there is on C. Now let's splice the other end in and connect it back together. Next, I'm going to attach the Nest thermostat base plate. I'm going to strip the wire and pull off the ends of each wire, and then I'm going to label them, and I'm ready to then attach each wire into the Nest thermostat. So this is the easy part, just making sure that all the wires fit in correctly. Now here, I did need to clip the ends as I had them a little bit too long. You don't want too much extra wire sticking out. And once I have attached all the wires, I now have five wires, including the C wire, and we are ready to turn back on the power and put back on the faceplate of the Nest thermostat. Now, as soon as the power was back on, once I walked up to the Nest thermostat, it automatically sensed that I was there and the display turned on, which is exactly what I wanted to have happen. And that is why we went through this whole process. Now heading into the Google Home app under the thermostat, and then in the settings, here you can see that the C-wire notice is gone. I haven't done anything else. All I did was add the C-wire and now that is gone but in the settings, it is showing that no C wire is connected. Now, I couldn't find a way to go in and re-go through the setup to add that I now have a C wire unless I did a full factory reset. So just on the main page of the thermostat here, scroll down to the bottom and select reset, factory reset it, and then once I went through the setup process again, now it is showing that I have all of those wires and everything is working great. Now the hardest part of this process is most likely going to be putting the wire from your thermostat all the way down to the furnace. Now for me, that was actually the easiest part just because the furnace is right below here. Um, but some tips on doing that is just use the old wire to feed the new wire through. Um, so if you can get it to kind of slide, get somebody to help you and hold one end and pull on the other and see if you can get it to move. If you are able to do that, you just uh, do some electrical tape on the one end with the new wire and then carefully pull it through. Um, if you don't have access that way, um, you just need to learn how to feed the wire or another possibility is just to wire it into a new location that you do have access to. Now, this is our main hallway so this is definitely the best spot for the thermostat, but maybe something else would work even better for you. So those are some of my recommendations if you are having issues wiring that wire. And then if all else fails, there are Nest Pros that are able to help you or other HVAC experts to rewire that wire if that is something you really need to do. And so there it is. That is how you can install your C wire for your Nest thermostat or other smart thermostats that may require it. If you do have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you know any more details that I missed, let us know down there in the description below as well. If you wanna see my full review of the Nest thermostat, you can check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.